They know they want to win. They look at the judge and they ask for it. Here I am, pick me out, I'm one in a million. Look at the coats, look at the shiny eyes. The show dog begins at home. The show dog begins with what you feed it. They couldn't have done this without pedigree. You want your dog to look like my dogs. They have to eat pedigree. Pedigree, recommended by top breeders. instantly turn on. You put that show lead on and that spark is right there. That's the difference between a good dog and a great dog. They couldn't have done this without the food. They couldn't have done this without pedigree. Pedigree, recommended by top breeders. He says, no, I'd rather say goodbye to the whole shop and go home. Yes, he would. Sweet boy. The boys are always the sweetest.
years ago, the American Kennel Club approved a ruling in which the large working group was divided into two groups, a new herding group with 14 breeds and the old working with 18. We're about to see the herding group. It was the first change in group alignment since 1930 when the sporting was divided with 16 hound breeds forming a new division. Mr. Thomas H. Bradley III from Watertown, New York, who is now making a walk, a slow one around the ring. Beside me, two people who have done more than their share of judging and showing <laughs> in top-notch fashion. Your comments right now, I know you get a couple of chills because sort of a vicarious experience, isn't it, to sit here and, and know what goes through everybody's mind. Andy, you want to start? Goes through everybody's mind, goes through the, the uh, people down there on the floor with their magnificent cockers. Uh, all the spaniels, all the, the retrievers, all the setters set up and, and looking so glamorous down here for Tom Bradley, who is judging his first group at the Westminster Kennel Club. And boy, you can have some butterflies over that one, too. But he's looking uh, at his dogs as he goes down. He looks uh, as though the butterflies are calming down. And actually, once you finally get your hands into a dog and, and start, um, your butterflies go away. So Tom Bradley right now looking at the sporting group. In giving the number of the dogs, let me say that the total entry is 2,608 dogs. As we said, 139 breeds and varieties. And I'd also like to point out, when you look at the numbers, that the Westminster Kennel Club Dog Show limits its entries to 2,500 dogs. Spaniel champion KD's King of the Road CDX. Owned by Deborah Perk and Dr. MB Gibbs and Florence Robinson of Spencer Spencerville, Maryland, and shown this evening by Debbie Perk. It's interesting with the Spaniels, you, you start with the American cockers that are one size, and then you just go up a little bit to a little bit more streamlined uh, breed, and that's the English cocker, and now you've come up just a bit more to the uh, to the Springer Spaniel. Uh, lovely shooting dog, lovely gun dog, a very sensible dog. He's uh, endeared himself to many sportsmen. Earlier this evening, if I can just inject uh, another note, they had the junior showmanship competition in order to qualify for that. Youngsters ages 10 to 16 must have won eight open junior showmanship classes during the year, judging based solely on the skillful handling of the dog by the junior. And David Harper, Weimaraner of Richmond, was the winner with our congratulations. We're now watching the Springer move again, going back to location.
And uh, it's going to be a great show, and uh, I'm looking forward to working with you on it. Well, I'm looking forward to being with you. You'll see all the action right here at the 110th Annual Westminster Kennel Club Dog Show. This is a two-day and night orderly elimination contest, you might say, as the breeds divided into groups with group winners. And tonight, the sporting group, the hound group, and a special attraction, Best of Westminster, including some great group winners and best in show winners of the past, and the toy group. That's tonight. And the winners of those three groups tonight will come back tomorrow and they'll be entered in the best in show competition. Now stay right with us for two big nights. Barbara Heller will be judging the sporting group now making its entrance into the ring. To give you some idea of the scope of Westminster, 2,592 dogs representing 140 breeds of varieties from 48 states with North Dakota and Wyoming the exceptions. Also entries from the District of Columbia, Canada, Puerto Rico. And quality is the most important factor. A record 56% of the canines are champions and the rest have earned at least one point toward their titles. Well, this, uh, this group, uh, Bob, is the uh, group that has contains the retrievers, the setters, the pointers, the uh, springers, and the spaniels. Uh, they were used to help man hunt game and to retrieve game that has been shot. Now the judge, and just in general terms, Joe, what is the judge looking for at this first go round? Well, uh, Mrs. Heller is now going down the line, uh, taking a look at the dogs for general type and uh, what she can see from uh, uh, profile uh, in the way the make and shape of the dogs are. And um, she is just sizing them up now uh, to see that uh, they fit the standard somewhat. She'll make a detailed uh, examination of them as she goes along. We had an opportunity actually earlier to ask her exactly what she is looking for. Let's listen to what she said. My background really is field. So and since I'm, I'm judging the sporting group, these are all dogs that were bred for a certain purpose. And the first thing I will look for, like if the dog would be capable of doing a job it was bred for. For instance, most people like a very high stepping pointer, but a pointer that hackneys it's no good in the field. So that's one thing I look for. Well, a little insight from Mrs. Heller, who is now taking her first look at this rather large sporting group. English Cocker, I'm not sure. I know there has been American Cocker. Um, we'll check that and yeah, bring you the answer we, we before can, the show is yeah, over. Yeah, we can check that. Okay, and Mrs. Heller is now going over the English Springer Spaniel. This is the largest of the uh, of the Spaniels. I, I don't mean the largest of all the Spaniels, but of the, uh, the Spaniels that, that are short in leg. We do have uh, the Irish Water Spaniel is taller. This, is, uh, this dog has a soft, gentle expression. He's the founder of all the English uh, hunting Spaniels, is what I meant to say. And popularity in America began in the 1700s. He's friendly, eager to please. His eyes contribute to, to his appeal. Again, merry tail action, like the other Spaniels that went before him. But you have to remember that they all really came from him. But they have the glory of saying they were right there in you competition at Madison Square Garden. Well, that group was exciting. And of course, there's a lot more to come. So we're uh, staying right here. It takes a lot of work to produce a best in show winner. 
These oh, dogs oh, have to be in top condition. The dog food is probably the most important part of my home care program. That's why I choose pedigree. I mix the pedigree with the pedigree mealtime because to me it's the perfect combination. Come on. Feeding my dogs pedigree is my way of showing them how much I appreciate what they do for me. They're my life. Pedigree, recommended by top breeders.
feathers? Good girl. Yeah, good girl. There's the bird. Yeah, good girl. Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye, Annie. Bye-bye, Annie.